The day that I met my aunt after the um, renouncing of the the Tao, we went after we we went to shop at a second hand store. She she's in she's very interested in antiques and she likes those decoratives. So she she um wanted to go and she wanted to ask me if I wanted to go with her. So we actually went that day, earlier that day. And I was led to a book by Julia Childs. It's a she's a French cook, very famous, but I haven't really heard much about her before and but I was led to that book and uh, the Holy Spirit had asked, had told me that the book was in a certain direction and I looked in that direction and I went through all of the books on that shelf in that corner, but the Holy, kept, the Holy Spirit kept saying, no, that's not the one, that's not the one. And there was no books behind that book. There was nothing on that shelf but then I just somehow asked if it the book is is on the ground like if it fell off onto the the end of the shelf did it fall and this was a book that was stuck in the crevice between the wall and the shelf it wasn't even on the bookshelf and it was stuck to a place where if you looked, you can't see it. And I had to reach back there and I, I had to look on the floor kind of at an angle to see if there's a book back there. And there was, this was the book. It was um, a book about her life and how she is, is a very, uh, a great inspiration in her life. Actually, I have the book. Um, yeah, maybe I'll show the book later on. And okay, so it's a kind of like a biography of her life. So I thought that was interesting that, you know, I was led to that book. And also the New Age books that I had mentioned and have shown in another video, uh, my spirit said to get rid of those. And I had paid a lot for those books and I've never actually read five of those books and they were about gardening and working with nature spirits and and there was one part where she talked about coning and how she was using coning to get to this other dimension and I was really curious about what that coning meant because she didn't explain it in this other book that I read and the one book I started tearing, I started tearing the pages out of the book, but I came to a part where she's describing the coning. And I got really curious and I started to read a little and the Holy Spirit was saying, don't read it. Don't look through this. And to continue to, but I, I my curiosity and just got the best of me and I I was too curious. I wanted to know what, how does she mean? What does she do with coning? What is that about? And I read it and actually it only talked about how it was introduced to her by the white brotherhood and that she had to call upon them and also Pan, which was the spirit entity that she met on her land. And Pan is they um, in folklore is not a bright entity. Let's say that. So, so she had to call upon these, and that was part of the coning process. So I can see why that didn't really help me to know how she did coning, but she had to call upon these spirits, and it was part of it. That was the majority, and the coning was actually just to say that that it her, set her intention to that type of coning and it didn't actually have a physical representation of that but it was more of in that she had created that in her mind and that 
was how she could get to the other dimension. So I could see why that didn't help me at all. And um, so I started to, but I still, it was, I was still very curious. There was another book of hers that I was just so, it was so hard for me to let go of that information. It was really hard. It took me several days to go through the process. I kept putting it off and putting it off, putting it in the car, leaving it in the car, thinking I'm going to burn it at my mother's place. And I was told to burn it, but I was thinking fire hazard and I didn't know where to burn it. And if I burned these books in front of my mom, she would think I've really gone off the deep end. You know, if she sees me huddled in a corner, burning a bunch of books setting to fire, I don't think it would give her a good image of me because she's now already in doubt of what, you know, of my of what I'm doing with my life. So I wasn't sure where I was going to do that. So I just started ripping, but the Holy Spirit had said that I could rip the pages off, but I had to burn the spine of the book. So I would rip off the pages so that there's no, not one page was being whole. Like I had to rip it in a way where it's ripped through the middle and I cannot rip it per page where the page is complete because someone can find the page and read it. So I had to rip it through the middle so that no one would actually be interested in reading it. And then on top of that, I had to burn the spine, but I actually forgot about burning the spine and I threw everything in, in the recycle bin. So I probably have to dig that out and burn the spine. Okay. Um, so the spine is like our spine and it's a sen center it's almost like the, the trunk of the tree if you don't. So this was how I was explained that if you don't cut and completely destroy the trunk of the tree, it can grow back. Even though the leaves and all the branches are stripped from the tree, but the, the spine of it was, in, it was complete. So I had to burn the spine. That's... That's the message that I got. And while we were shopping, there was a section in the store that had dresses and I would really liked to look at the dresses. The Holy Spirit said, don't look at that section. Don't even go into that section. Don't even bother to flip through it. But when I went through, when I walked through that aisle, I my eyes couldn't, couldn't keep from looking. And then I saw fabrics that I liked, which was silk, long silk dress made out of made from BB, which is the brand that I like. And they and I couldn't help but take it out of the hang, you know, hanger. And then I saw another dress that was um, really baggy, really comfortable, cotton style. <clears throat> and I thought, hmm, these were looking really good to me. And But I could see why it was one of the dress was a little scandalous and the other one didn't really have the color that complimented me. And nor did it have the material. But I took it anyway to the dressing room and I really wanted to try it on. And I have actually heard in a story other people's testimonies where even if you took something, you touched something and you tried it on, if you, if you started to wear it, that whatever the spirit that was on that dress or on that product could slip in that way and I don't know I mean I still did it I still disobeyed and I still looked in the mirror and I and I ended up not buying it but it was just a it was something that I didn't need to go through and I I did go through it and I I could see why it wasn't necessary because it really wasn't something that was good for me and 
the design of it was very curvaceous and also very it was just really revealing and it was something that probably wouldn't be able to wear out anyway so I had to I was learning that about myself that even though I said let's say if I won the lottery or that I would do God's work with it and I wouldn't keep try to keep any for myself or I would be less tempted to keep it for myself because I'm on this path but even with just a dress I couldn't take or I couldn't be obedient to even a dress on hanging on um, on the rack so I was starting to be shown my heart and the way that I am and um Yes, and even this testimony that I'm making now, I had to be prodded to do this because I was a bit tired today and I wasn't going to spend this time doing it, but for some weird reason, the page of my notebook where I was writing down about testimonies, it ripped out of my book. I think I must have sat on it in the car and it ripped out and it was just that one page testimony 